All right, y'all. So that was that was E3 2021. Uh, it was quite the E3, man. Yeah, it was quite the E3. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Game changer. <laughs> <laughs> you know, game changer. It was a game changer, man. Take those back, you know. Man, I, I can say personally, uh, before I really get into it, my thoughts, man. I, I, I didn't think it was anything too crazy. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. I didn't think it was anything too crazy. Um, I was really expecting to see something that would really, really wow me. But, yeah. Um, and that has a couple good things in there. I can't even lie. A couple good things in there, y'all, but. Not a lot of things really wild me this year. Yeah. What, no. what are your thoughts? I, I, I feel like that. You have to be like a very particular person mm. to like everything in this like whole little, you know, Nintendo Direct announcement. Do like, there might be one thing for every like hundred people in this. Like, right. It wasn't right. like a universal slap or like back to back. Like, it's a home home. Dude, like, I, I'm still at like 2021. There's no game on the Switch that I know. Just, I, like, That's just really fine right now. Like, the Switch, like what? Because I know, like, the, I was actually expecting to see like Pokemon Snap, to be honest. Right. And I didn't yeah. like that. No, I didn't Pokemon see any Pokemon Snap. That has like a release date, though. Yeah, I mean, that's why I kind of yeah. expected to see like something else about the game. But, you know, I mean. They gave us yeah. stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I guess all in all, like, if we waited 529 days for a direct, you know, I mean, we got one, you know, but, so I guess I can't really complain. I mean, I'm gonna complain. No, you can't I'm gonna complain, complain, man. You, you can right. complain for this right, bro. There was no E3 of 2020. There was, there was yeah. Regardless of, yeah. and like, you, and Nintendo doesn't have the same level or same benefit of the doubt from like Xbox or Sony. They're releasing the consoles. Right. They got they dealing with console. So so they, they're they're just getting the start. Right. They're trying to catch. Them. There really ain't no excuse for the Switch. They didn't really release anything last holiday season like that either. That was game. I don't think they had anything last holiday season. Yeah, like, exactly. Besides Super Mario. 3D, uh, uh, All Star, All Star, like right. right. that came out what, September. Yeah. I think somewhere around. So it wasn't even like the holiday holiday game too. Like. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> they ain't got no excuse, bro. <laughs> but you know, no, that's just me. Well, uh, well, let's get into the beginning of you know yeah. the direct. So Super Smash Bros. You already know we're gonna talk about Smash. Bros. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, I was next. Uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense for them to like show Smash to kind of get it out the way so it don't take too much of the time, bro. Well, I, low key with this EP, they should have played a little bit more Smash. Bro. <laughs> 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 to me, dude, like starting off with Smash is like the classic, like mm. where we're we're list, kind of listening to the audience, little like maneuver they do, mm. but they they really don't care about what you think, dude. You know, because they just give you whatever character. You, you know don't what? really won't. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna say Pyro. <laughs> uh, um, I I didn't see the character coming. I didn't see her coming. I'm okay with it. I'm actually okay with there being a Smash, but I I literally saw nothing of Pyro. You know, for uh, in Smash. I, I honestly thought it was gonna be Rex. To be honest with you, but I'm happy for Pyro, but I thought it was gonna be Rex. Cause I I heard people asking for like a Xenoblade character. Or something like that. Ooh, bro, who was asking for his? Who was asking for his? Like, nobody's asking for the. Nobody's asking for the. Nobody's playing Xenoblade in the streets, man. Dude, man, hey, people want what they want, man. Besides mm -hmm. this, people were asking for Gino, but then they had that canceled. Yeah, the I want to crash, man. I want to crash, man. The Fire kids or die. Fire kids. Like, 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 it, like, it, it don't even matter. Bro. Or, or sword. People were asking for sword too. Man. Sora was a matter. Sora, that thing matter. dropped Sora. Bro. Now they could. That's the only thing that would bring them back into existence if they dropped Sora. I feel like if they dropped Sora, that would have been like Sword. a Nintendo would be hot for like they're cool hot. like four or five hundred percent. If Sora, I, how many more characters do they have left? Like to now for the DLC, I think they just finished that. I think this, this can't be the final character. I don't think it's the final. I think there's more DLC, but like I think it was like DLC pack one or. Is this the final like DLC thing? pack one? That's the final DLC pack one. Sora might still be on the line, bro. I'm gonna keep uh, hold out for Sora, keep bro. I think that's my most for Crash Bad. I'll take Sora will mean a lot more to a lot more people. Oh, I think so, bro. Like Sora will be like 
I think Sora is bigger than Banjo Kazooie announcement. Mm. I, I think that would do it. Banjo Kazooie so was wanted by the Smash community, mm. but like in terms of gaming, like culture, I think Sora, Sora is has more cool. Right, right dude. Definitely. I don't think I, the only character, like last character to me that was as big as Sora would have to be like maybe Snake. Sonic, like, Sonic, Sonic was bigger. Sonic was like big. Snake was like that was the big, outlier because that came out of nowhere. Either. Nobody thought like Snake would be like Smash. Like, so that was that was the moment too. I mean, but I, I guess a so, Raw Smash was cool. Like it was nice to see cool. it. You know, she, cool, she looked good. She so looked nice, like. let's see how how that goes. Mm-hmm. What else games we had in there, man? Uh, was that thing right after Smash and it was like <laughs> it went from <laughs> high to it dropped so fast. There was so. You're right. There's probably nothing of hype until like Mario Golf. Oh right. Yeah, yeah. Mario Golf was cool. I was actually I, I I think I stood up for it, bro. I think I stood up yeah. for Mario Golf. Mario yeah. Golf looked nice. Hey, it was looking nice. I don't care what y'all say. Mario Golf was looking nice. I, I saw it the when they started running on the, the actual film. <laughs> that was alright. I was like, no, they not do like a, a like, what multiplayer like Competitive looking Mario, like they have the, the all like the speed golf mm. thing that would have called speed golf. That was dope. I'm um, I'm cool with it. Like you know they had items and stuff now. Like, yeah, I, I I've never played one, so I can't really like even oh, judge man. a dude. I, 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 I didn't play too much of like Mario Golf on the 64. I played a little mm. bit, but Mario Golf on the GameCube. Look, Mario Golf Toaster Tour is probably like a game I spent hours playing growing up. I played that game. Like, for a long, it's addictive. Like there's something about like when you swing, and then they'll have like a special swing, and it'll be like, Whoa. <laughs> and that Mario make yeah. the thing catch fire. <laughs> you know, so, but this one, you know, they still manage to make it look fun. Right. You know, for like anybody to kind of join in. It looked cool, dude. I mean, it looked colorful. Very cool. What you want? Yeah. Like, if you want to play it, like, it's cool. Can we talk about how they're all wearing golf clothes? Like, <laughs> I think Waluigi had like a fedora hat on. No, Damn, yeah. <laughs> bro. Like, I'm, I'm looking that at real little fast. Like, thumbnail right now. I'm looking at Luigi. Oh, uh, he over here got a little like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, no, he did it right now. Oh, a little man. golf visor on right there. Oh, you know, yeah, he got the. He's like, you see it? Look, man, I might have to like put a picture of that on the screen. Yeah. Too, man. <laughs> what else do they have up in here, dude? So, of course. Um, oh, you, you say. It was Bravely Default 2. It was good. Right. Right. I Bravely just never thought to. I feel wrong for playing the second one if I never played the first I feel the same way. To be honest, guys, like I had a 3DS growing up, but I really didn't like buy a lot of games for the 3DS. So, Bravely Default was the game I just completely like skipped out on. I'm not really a huge RPG fan anyway. Mm-hmm. I'm just not really starting to catch the wave of playing RPGs. So, you know, like, it's going to take me a while to start so, playing games like Bravely Default. I mean, that's when the past really hit mm-hmm. on RPGs, bro. I, did, I can really tell, man. Like, uh, there's a game I'm playing on the Switch right now, uh, The Lost Fear, which I'm actually kind of enjoying right now. That has more of that chibi kind of art style. Oh, okay. But I'm really enjoying it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I played a couple <laughs> games like that. That was cool. That was cool. What else? They did the Ninja Garden. Well, the Ninja Gaiden collection, that's right. All right, right, right. That one was, I, I think, I, to me, it wasn't anything super hype, but I'm cool with it. Like, I, I'm actually quality. like, if you bring yeah. quality to the system, I can't be mad, but it's like, how many times can you bring the same game? Over oh, right. to like, I don't, because I don't think Ninja Gaiden has been touched since like PS2. I think that's maybe like the last time I'm pretty sure I've seen. I, I mean, we got the Ninja first Man one. was on, did they have one on like Wii U or something like that? I don't like think that? so. Oh, I don't a remake or something mm-hmm. weird like that. I don't think so, man. I don't think I've seen Ninja Gaiden on Wii U. Like, Ninja Gaiden is somewhere recently, bro. Like, because, bro. Um, so the, the Super Mario 3D World, you know, I mm-hmm. mean, we already know. It's already out, but um, they're doing the. Um, I'm sorry, not the 3D World, they're doing the Animal Crossing update mm. and adding the Super Mario Bros. like aesthetics to the game. It looks really adorable. Um, uh, so, you know, when, when that drops, I might have, I might jump back into Animal Crossing for a little bit. Just to, I, re, I actually just want to go down a pipe, mm. you know, in Animal Crossing. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and like, end up somewhere else. So. Right. That's so, a, that, that alone is like a little keyboard. Like, yeah. Take like, it to Andrew. I, I want to see what like Dave would do, because wow. I seen his <laughs> island, dude, and his I island was spectacular. He was so, mad I didn't see his island. Dude, like, dang, you should have seen his island, man. 
Like his island was like I've never seen the well crafted island yeah. up, ever, bro. Like he, he really put in work on that. Like he was like, yeah, come on in, take whatever you like. Man, like like a yard sub, dude. It was amazing, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, it was weird, man. That, that's uh, a real game of community. What else there? Um, no more heroes three. No more heroes three was looking was looking pretty cool. Um, I'm, I really don't know too much. Like I don't know what to expect from the game to be honest with y'all. Um, but it, I do kind of like how they're going more towards like a, a space alien mm -hmm. kind of thing. But I, I really enjoyed Number Girls 1. Now I played Number Girls 2 a little bit too. And honestly, I just kind of want to fight and like drop, drop kick people. Like I just right. want to like grab people, like su suplex those guys, you know what I'm saying? So, um, cause I remember in the first Number Girls, you had to become like the number one assassin. So, mm -hmm. I mean, let's see what they do for this, for, for the third one. I'm pretty, uh... I'm pretty down to see what he thinks I just like his outfit. His outfit? Yeah, his outfit, outfit says down, man. The jacket. Where is Beautiful Joe Marvelous? That's what needs to happen. I don't care if it's dead. I, I need a Beautiful Joe remake. I'm tired of y'all, like, not giving me what I want now. I'm, yeah. I need something, dude. Uh, they got the Metopia. It was, was like, mm. the, the moment of, like, who are, why? <laughs> Nobody asked for, ask for this to be brought over. Of all the things you could have spent energy on to bring over to this. Movie. Like Metopia of all things. Nobody asked for Metopia, bro. Mm. I think Look. people who bought it back then don't don't even remember they bought it. So, so Metopia was a previous game. Uh, I mm. never was it on the 3DS. Yeah. So yeah, me. I mean, I never played. Oh, they had the Smash Bros. stage. Is that where that comes from? That one with that green ghost that like appears as like. You're uh, right. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't play Metopia. Yeah. I didn't really like. There was a game on the 3DS I really played that had Mies in it, but it was like. It was like the Mies and they lived in like an apartment building. It was like a, like you just live real life simulated with your Mies. It was actually pretty, like a silly game. It was fun. They need to bring that back. I would like, I would buy a Wii, uh, Switch version of that one for sure. You know? I don't know what that game is called though, man. I don't know, I mean, they, they don't seem to do too, too much. Like it was a 50 minute like, like direct, but it was very like. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, a lot of the games, they, they weren't really hitting too much, man. Like, it was a long like, 50 so, minutes, man. I ain't gonna lie. I think it's a good time to actually talk about what we were, what we wanted to see. You know, mm -hmm. what we were expecting to see in this direct, y'all. I mean, because it's, it's, right. it's early February, and now's the time where, like, Nintendo, you want to, like, show the consumers, like, what you guys got cooking right now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's definitely not time for you to, like, hold back. Because you know you show these games right now, and you're gonna go into summertime. And summertime is usually when like they start showing games, you know, because people get E3 usually in, like June. Right, that's when it matters. That's yeah, when they have to have something to show. Right, I mean, we might not get an E3 this year either, but like you want to show something that's gonna be a hitter. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, Dude, I think they don't even care. I think they. Here's my theory. They already got Mario Kart Nine done. Mm -hmm. It's done, bro. Mm -hmm. It's in a vault somewhere. They just thinking like a twin. It's done, bro. They're just waiting for the moment where they have to announce some new piece of hardware. Right. For Wild Mario Kart 9. Look how good this game look at the top quality 4K Mario Kart 9. Damn. I will say this. I mean, if, if, if look though, if they were to show Mario Kart 9 <laughs> to like for this direct, mm -hmm. they wouldn't. They wouldn't have to do anything else for the rest of the year. Right. Exactly. exactly. Because if, if we know Mario Kart, like, new Mario Kart's going to come through, it's it's just one of those games that stops everything. It's going to be trending on Twitter, it's going to be trending online. Right. You know what I'm saying? They, it's, they basically win an E3 for Nintendo. Well, you drop on. Like, yeah. So, uh, I mean, I'm kind of disappointed, man. Like, I hope that they got Mario Kart 9 already. They they should drop Mario Kart 9 think for the gonna, Switch. Do you think it's going to get announced this year? I don't know, man. I don't know. Man. And if they announce it for this year, I would like them to announce it in the summertime. Right, just for yeah. the vibe. Just for, <laughs> just for the vibe. Just yeah. give me something hopeful for the rest of the year. Yeah, man, yeah. I mean, because it just, I mean, it just makes sense. Like, because technically the Switch doesn't even have a Mario Kart game. Right. It's exactly. like Mario Kart 8 is, on, is Wii U, technically. You know what I'm saying? Right. Mario Kart 8 is still the number one selling game on the console right now. 
So yeah, yeah. yeah. If, and if they if they drop a marker or not, it's it's over. Like it's just one of those big like mm, Xbox and PlayStation One. Mm-hmm. There's nothing they can Nobody make. Nobody wants. Right. They don't want the smoke with yeah. it. Like, you know what I'm saying? They're scared right now. <laughs> they're scared. Oh man. Yeah, man. So, but like they, uh, we announced uh, Splatoon Three. Splatoon Three. Splatoon Three. Right. 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 You know what, guys? Uh, honestly, Splatoon Three. It was looking pretty dope. I can't lie. Um. It, you know, Cameron was mentioning like there's not, it wasn't like a graphical like you know masterpiece. It's not. They didn't change right. anything from the second one from the, from this one from, from what it looks like. But I definitely saw some differences, you know. And um, I'm actually pretty happy to get into two or three. I just have to force myself to play. Mm-hmm. You know, it's one of those games you know it's good, you know it's quality. It's, it's, it's fun surviving on Nintendo consoles. That means right. it's for a quality. new IP, respect. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that don't happen too often where they get a sequel that everybody is like happy about mm-hmm. for a Nintendo because they got a lot of weird like franchises that get sequels. <laughs> You're like nobody even bought the first one, dude. Like, <laughs> everything but their best games. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Everything but their best games. You know so. I, yeah, I, I'm like for Splatoon 3, man. I, I personally don't play too much Splatoon. Like, my brother plays it more than I do. But I do have Splatoon 2. I do have Splatoon 1 as well on the Wii U. Yeah. Um, so, I, yeah, I, I'm definitely going to... I mean, when this game drops in 2022, um, I'll definitely gonna be, I'm going to be picking it up. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and grab it. Um, I know we already talked about golf. I'm pretty happy for that. Um, well, of course, it's the, the, you know, we don't talk about right. that. I, another game I wish they would have showed, though, guys. I, I I wish they would have shown like an F Zero or something. I wanted to see something of, of Metroid. I, I know it was a long shot, but you can't even get your hopes up, man. You, yeah, can't, you can't. You can't think like that, bro. <laughs> Don't <laughs> ever get your hopes up. You no, know, I'm just gonna get like sad. GameCube era games are never like that, bro. Just just end them. Anything that's like somewhat competitive. <laughs> doesn't, doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, it can't exist on a Nintendo console. But it's just, it's, uh, it just makes me feel uncomfortable, bro. Mm. You're like, we can't sell this to like families, man. How, how dare we like try to take some of our like greatest games? You're to right. Sell them to our consumers, like, oh, you know what I'm saying? You have to do that, zero. I mean, and but that's the thing too. Like, I mean, with the, like you said before, like the Switch, like if there's any time for Nintendo to go hard. It's right now. It has to be with the Switch. You got me now. Because I don't care what console y'all got like coming up next, but all I know is like the Switch brand, the Switch name, it's it's a it prints money. You know, it, yeah. it's just too cool. Like Nintendo Switch. Like you yeah, want to create these games. Yeah. They're not making consoles. I don't think they're gonna make new hardware. Like, like everybody was saying, like you know, you, the Switch uh, Pro. Or HD, right? Like, do you really think that's even gonna? I don't think it's gonna be a thing. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think that they're gonna make this Switch Pro or like a a, a very stronger 4K type of Switch. You know, I don't think so. If they do, I will make another video and be like, I was wrong. Well, I gotta play. Well, I I just don't think they're gonna gonna do it, man. Yeah, I don't think so either, bro. I, I I think they keep throwing it out there. But like, what would their audience be? People, for, the, right. the same people to buy another Switch because it looks a little bit better. But you, you know, they can't like throw away all their old games. They gotta, mm-hmm. you know, support the older Switch console. And so it, I'm just like, that's not their game, right? And, and Nintendo's not really one to, to kind of like do that too too often. Like they did it with the 3DS. They kept like re- revising it, right? But I just don't see them really doing it with the Switch. It'll get too confusing. Another, I think it was another Switch, with the Switch, Switch mm. Lite, and then the Switch, Switch Pro, Pro, or something. Pro. Like it's, I don't know, man. I mean, what, you know, but you got these Nintendo games. You know, even if you were to make them like, I mean, how, how different is it really going to look to be Switch? Because I mean, they right. know how to optimize their games to make right. it look pretty unique and still mm-hmm. look good. You know, um, they don't. They ain't out here to flex. Exactly. They ain't exactly. out here to flex. Um, I'm not jumping to, uh, to Zelda, man, in fact, you know, to kind of wrap it up a little bit. Where's Breath of the Wild 2? Where's Breath of the Wild 2? <laughs> no, no. I, I'm kind of, I'm sad they didn't show Breath of the Wild 2, man. I, when I saw Eiji Inuma, when I saw Eiji Inuma, like, my heart started to, like, race. Because I know if I'm saying Eiji Inuma. He was laughing. Dude, oh, man, he walked out <laughs> super calm. 
Yeah. Nobody's gonna, gonna tell us like, yo, you gotta wait. <laughs> you gotta wait just a little longer for a whole lot too. Yeah. That was, oh, I, was very cool. I was hurting. I was hurt. But you know what? Uh, they did show us an HD remake of Legends of the Skyward Sword to keep yeah, us busy. I'm, I'm actually really excited. excited for that. I'm pretty cool with this. I'm pretty excited about it now. Like y'all probably know or don't know, I'm a huge Zelda fan. So um, Skyward Sword is actually probably one of those other games I've only beaten once and I've never played it through again. But I think I'm gonna have to do it again on the HD version. Yeah, yeah. this yeah. is whisper. It's definitely something special. Dude, it's just the color choices mm-hmm. in that game too. Oh, the co- Coming oh, from yeah. like Twilight Princess to mm-hmm. Skyward is literally like it's night, night and day. day. Man. It's like, night and day. You know? I think, and that's the best part too. Like Skyward Sword, like the way they made the art style look was kind of, is as if it was painted on the game. It really looks like a, a painted canvas. Um, there's gonna be like moments where you go into the uh, far own woods. Mm-hmm. You'll you'll see the way it looks, guys. I mean, you guys probably played it, but like you'll see the way it looks, man. Mm-hmm. It looks pretty like nice. Yeah. And already just on first looks of this game, it it looks the same, but it just looks even more beautiful, y'all. Like it just looks a lot more smoother. Mm-hmm. The the one on the Wii looked very very like kind of jagged and, and a little blotchy, like just kind of blurry, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. Well, honestly, like this one is looking really nice, really smooth, and we gotta talk about like the control setup. Oh, for the right. So the control setup for this game, um, you know, obviously you're gonna be using your Joy Cons, and your left Joy Con is like the shield, and then the right, and they kind of like update your motion controls. So that's you know we kind of maybe we saw it coming, but I, they also said they fixed it where you can play button controls too, which is cool. Mm-hmm. We gotta talk about that. Uh, the Zelda fight stick, man. <laughs> <laughs> Using the C stick to control the motion of Link's combat, it's really unique. That was that was cool. I didn't see it coming. Like, I mean, you know, my thing is, is like, what are you gonna use to move the camera? I'm thinking they're gonna use a Z, uh, the ZL button to help me change the camera. So you know, you move, and it's gonna face behind you. I'm pressing this, and then. Your right stick is going to control movement, or you can click the right stick and then you can control the camera. I don't know, but I think it's going to be like the ZL. That's like a classic Zelda thing that they do. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hold the lock, lock on, just kind of like go around the character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that makes sense. sense. So I mean, yeah. I, but I think though, yeah, overall, it was it was all right. I, I might rate this E3 mm, a six. <laughs> Probably like a six out of ten. Oh, it really cool. wasn't. Yeah, the lower one's right, There's though. no game really in there for me that no, like, really there's like no new game. Right, right. I'm not a Splatoon fan. No more heroes I've never be any of. Like, mm-hmm. and no game just looked like it was doing anything that yeah. new. Dude, it, 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 and that's what I'm saying. saying. Like, this, this... People fatigue with a little bit of, like... Mm-hmm. I don't even know, just, like, remasters. Dude. And I'm like, what, what does that amount to? The Sox like Splatoon mm-hmm. 3, they was like, no really new games, man. Yeah, yeah, come think of it, dude. What would you rate it, man? I'm uh, probably three? going like four. Like four? I'm 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 harsh. I'm not a Nintendo fanboy, dude. Like, I'm oh yeah, man. Nintendo, I'm, I'm, I'm only for honesty around right here. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, I'm going four out of ten, bro. Don't mm-hmm. tell me the, the length. Mm-hmm. If this is what you're going to get. They really like made this 50 minutes too. But I told you, if you remember what I told you though? Like, why did they? Announce the presentation and then say Smash Bros. in the other the, games. Right, right. Well, if Smash Bros. is the game you're trying to get people excited for for a 50, not because it's a 50 minute direct, but Smash Bros. There's something sinister. <laughs> there's some. They they know the way they word things now, bro. It's, they've been doing Nintendo directs for like four years, years, dude. Like, so it's all like it's like a psychological thing too. They gonna mention Smash Bros. to get you hyped. You know, the reason they show Smash Bros. That's for the adults in the room. Mm-hmm. And then everything else ain't for you. Nah. They just know you're listening. Right. You right. know what I mean? They're like, that's a, a joke to let us know. We hear you, but somehow. Wow, we're gonna, we gonna see them. And there's a lot more games that they did show, guys, that we're probably not even gonna talk about right now. I mean, they're not really too important to us. Mm-hmm. But all in all, like, yeah, we got into the direct. It came and went. Guys, uh, 
Let's just see what Nintendo does in the future. Hopefully they can give us something good this year. Maybe they can show a new Star Fox, an F-Zero, an update on Metro, an update on Breath of the Wild 2. It's really up in the air, y'all. But until then, yo, I'm DJ. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys liked the video, be sure to click the like button and then click the bell icon down below to get updated anytime I upload a video. And you know what guys, if you guys just, if you guys do, it helps support the video. The algorithm will push it and the video will be seen. So guys, just go ahead and subscribe if you guys like the video at all. Cameron, we gotta get out of here, bro. We gotta get out of here, man. I'm tired, man. I'm tired. <laughs> Come on, Nintendo, man.